If you have ever played slot machines, you understand the game. With every spin, you're hoping to hit the jackpot, but most of the time you don't win much at all, if anything. For many, buying sports card lots on eBay can feel the same way. You're hoping to strike it rich, but oftentimes not left with anything spectacular. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hit a jackpot on every eBay sports card lot you purchase. But first, let's cue the intro. Before we dive into the meat and bones of the video though, I have a small favor to ask you. I've been paying more attention to the YouTube channel analytics lately, and it seems like only a very small percentage of the people who are watching these videos actually subscribe to our channel, and there's something in it for you. We've been selecting random subscribers and sending them boxes of cards for participating in videos, so that could very well be you next if you're lucky. So just click the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and then ring the notification bell so you don't miss another one of our videos, and that will allow us to keep doing cool videos like this for you. And now let's learn about buying sports card lots. So I got eBay pulled up right here. What I'm going to talk about today is how to find cards where you can buy a lot of cards and be guaranteed to make profit if you follow these simple instructions. We're going to do what is called a hard search. That's when you use parentheses around a search term. So we're gonna type in sports card lots. What this does and what we're hoping to find is people who list exactly or very close to exactly what I'm saying. So sports card lot, sports cards, and that's like all that is in their description. Again, I repeat, all that is in their description. It just says sports cards or sports card lot, and they don't go into the specifics of what they're selling because that allows you to buy those cards, sell them correctly, and make a lot more money. So doing this search, here's what we're seeing. I'm just kind of scrolling through. I haven't done these in a little while. Oftentimes, instead of best match, the best match is going to pull something that has a lot of views. I'll just go ending soonest, and it shows you, here you go. This one is terrible. Like the listing itself, eight sports card lot. So we're looking for stuff kind of like this. This one looks rough as well. I wouldn't really want to buy cards that are just loose in a box. Like, there's got to be a lot of casualties in there. Best darn sports card lot. I gotta click on it. I love, there's nothing better than when somebody has a picture of their cards and they post it and it's like, homie, I've seen Sasquatch pictures a lot more clear than this. Like that is rough. This thing, it's like it's moving at 60 miles an hour when he takes a picture of it. I don't know, okay, I'm less intrigued. I thought that one had potential. It's, it's sometimes nice to look for ones that have bids because that's kind of an indication that there's at least something valuable in there. This one though, it has names. Brady, Luca, Giannis, T-Law, Giddy. Oh, is that Trevor Lawrence? T-Law. All right, what we're gonna do here now is change the search. I'm gonna drop the word lot from it and just type in sports cards. There are a lot of different searches you can do. You can say sports cards, sports card, like changing the plurality. You can do sports card lot, trading card, trading card lot, trading cards, those sort of things. Baseball cards, pick your favorite sport and do the same thing. You're just trying to get terrible listings and if you use sports cards like this in quotes, You'll occasionally find people who buy a shoebox of cards or something in an estate sale and they're like, hey, we'll throw this on eBay. That's how you can make the most money on cards. All right, here's one. This will be our good example. Uh, $202, so it's very popular, 46 bits. So what I would do if I was going to buy this, I would just pull it up here and then you're going to look at the cards in the picture and then just do a comp search on eBay and try to figure out what some of them are worth. So we'll just pull up one of these. Uh, Garbage Bill Kids. Here's a Christian Braun sweater card. So we're gonna type in Braun sweater hoop. And then we're gonna go to sold items on the left side, click that, and it's going to pull up. And this one sold for $225 with $5 shipping, $10. All right, so we could say, hey, this one's worth about $5. This one recently sold for less than $10. Wow, Kobe is taking a hit. So then what I would do is just go through all of them. Oh, this Keon Johnson one's nice. I don't know that what that obsidian is. We're gonna say Keon Johnson obsidian. I'll call it green and see what that gets me. I'm not 100% sure what color that one is. Maybe number 25. I think it kind of looks like this parallel. So it might be worth a little bit. Christian Polisic. 
PSA 7. So what you do is just go through and just comp all, as many cards as you can see. It's tough sometimes when these guys have like this row over here on the left side. You can't tell what cards are in there. You can just see some of them, the good ones, hopefully he's showcasing and that's kind of what you got to just operate under that assumption. Here are a couple examples of what I bought recently using the exact same tactics. This one was listed as football cards and if you look closely it is a Optic Contenders number 225 George Pickens rookie autograph RPA. I bought it for $70 and it recently sold for $137.50 just a couple days ago so I'll be able to almost double my money there. Here was another lot that was listed as sports card lots plus sleeves and card stains. And just pulling it up here, you can tell there's a lot of cards. There's a lot of, here's Mellow rookies, there's a lot of Ant Edwards rookies, there's four, five, six, seven Ant Edwards rookies. All these are Zion rookies, a couple of Kevin Durant rookies, Saquon Barkley, John Morant rookie card, base cards of, in parallels of Giannis. Uh, LeBron then there's these are the cool ones right here it came with a orange field level Justin Jefferson rookie a field level Jalen Hurts Joe Burrow Justin Herbert Jordan Love a couple autographs here there's Mikel Bridges it was a really nice lot and I paid $56 for it and I sold all the components for over $200 so the big takeaway here is if you want to make a lot of money buying and flipping cards on eBay the easiest way to do is just finding a lot that is poorly listed or even a single that is poorly listed and buying it using those generic search terms that I showed you here sports card lot football cards whatever it looks like buying it and then just selling it listed correctly you can double triple or even quadruple your money and it's very easy it's very fun and you can have your own treasure hunting experience right at your keyboard or even on your cell phone thanks for watching this video hope you learned something comment below what you want to see next and be sure to watch some other videos